Hello and welcome to our weekly head teachers vlog. Um, a little bit different again this week, so um, you'll see I've got Mr. Goodwin, our deputy head teacher, sat next to me. And um, so we're going to have a deputy head teachers vlog this week. So I'm going to say goodbye, and we're going to pass over to the boys and Mr. Goodwin for a, a little bit of quizzing of Mr. Goodwin today. So first question: How are your elevens doing? My first question: Which one's Ant and which one's Deck? Deck and Deck and Ant. <laughs> yes. Are you yeah. the right? Are you sat the right way around? Yes. That's yes. fine. Okay. And and your Geordie accent, what's your Geordie accent like? Any good? Terrible, no. Right, okay. Right, accents. I'm ready for your question now. Okay, so how are your elevens doing? Um, year 11s, I, I I felt for them today because they've had a tough day. We've had geography this morning. Um they're all now literally just sat doing their biology paper. Um we've we had biology revision last night. Uh we've just done one, two, three nearly periods of biology getting them ready this morning. Um, and I have to say, all the invigilators, all the staff are saying the same thing. We've never seen a Year 11 group go through who seem to be working so hard in their exams. Um, yeah, they're doing brilliant. I mean, to have attendance today in Year 11 up around 97, 98% on a Friday, you know, they could have taken this morning off if they weren't doing uh, geography this morning. And they haven't. They've turned up. Uh, so they've been involved in all the boosters, so I'm just really, really proud of them. Um, yeah, they've just been really, really good. Loads of them are in over half term, so I have to say a massive thanks to the staff who come in and give up their time over half term, free of charge. They just come in, and we had loads of students last week um, doing a variety of different interventions, maths. Um, I did a couple of science ones. History was on, so yeah, brilliant week last week, which is great because it was sunny. It was very tempting to be on the beach, mm. but we came in and we did some revision, so good stuff. Alright, so talk to us about our Challenge Week, what's going to be happening there? Right, Challenge Week, my favourite, undoubtedly my favourite week of the year, okay? So historically, um, I have run the very exclusive Poly Joke Surf Camp, okay? So um, it used to be uh, people who wanted to go surfing for a week, yeah. and we would camp, and it's quite a... Um, uh, a basic campsite should we say there's not much there um, in fact you can't even get a phone signal which I absolutely love not that the children love that okay some of them uh, end up in tears when they find out that they can't use their mobile phone uh, but because it's been so successful the last couple of years we've run it as a whole year seven camp um, and I absolutely love it I love it because I'm outdoors for the whole week um, I get to see the students in a completely different light so they're not in a classroom having to be taught um, you know uh, they have to listen to my funny jokes because they can't escape the campsite so they don't get a choice in that <laughs> um, but yeah it's just great it's, it's, it's lovely for us to see students just doing stuff that students should be doing you know swimming in the sea down on the beach playing cricket having a barbecue together um, helping those who get a little bit scared in the evening who've never maybe stayed away from home mm -hmm. ever um, watching the students make friends with people who they've probably not got on with at school and now because they have to do different activities together um, so yeah it's, it's really it's just a great week it's um, absolutely tiring so um, one year we had to send Mr Bright back to bed he was that tired I said you can't come out on the campsite with those bags under those mm -hmm. eyes. So we sent him back to bed for another couple of hours sleep. Um, but yeah, by Thursday, the staff, because we're there all week, and then every every two days we get a fresh group in. Mm. So they're all fresh and excited, and by Thursday we're not fresh and excited. Mm. <laughs> and obviously we're all clocking on a bit, Mr. Goodwin, you know, 28 now. I've just realised it was Jago who broke Mr. Bright <laughs> by keeping him awake all night. So. Best bits from you, because you both went last year. What's yeah, your yeah. best bits? Uh, oh, where do we start? Loads of good stuff. Um, there was a big walk to the camp. Um, that was really good. Everyone joking around, having fun. Yeah. Uh, How long do you really reckon? Uh, yeah, it was really hot. How Very long did it take hot. you to walk in? It's a good couple of, maybe a couple yeah, of hours. It's a good walk. Yeah, yeah. hour and a bit, 40 yeah. minutes maybe. Good. Yeah. yeah, and then we had... We had the sunset walk once we'd settled down, mm -hmm. and then we also had we had your jokes all sat around Which inside the gazebo. Yeah, they yeah, the very yeah, they're top, top notch. Yeah, good, good. Funny. We had a few stories, didn't we? Yeah, yes. that's good. What was your favourite bit? Mm, you probably the surfing. The surfing. I, I really enjoy the water and like surfing and all that. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, it's a good week. So the year seven should really look forward to yeah. it. Yeah, they would. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Amazing stuff. week. 
So last question, what is your favourite bit about like teaching? That's that's a tough question because I think in in one day of teaching you do so many different things mm. and there'll be so many good bits to your day. You know, first and foremost, I'm a science teacher and I absolutely love teaching my subject. Chemistry is my favourite, and mm. you know, just having a, a, a teaching students chemistry. But do you know what I think it's more than that? I think seeing students at this time of the year makes me realise why we work so hard throughout the year. So you've got your mm. year elevens. You know, in a week and a bit's time, we're going to have Leavers Day. To see all those young people who've, you know, worked their socks off during their exams. You know, it's a great day. I love the bit when we clap them out at the end of the day. Mm. You know, at the end when we all mm. stand around and they all filter through the school year 11s. Seeing that, it sort of makes you realise why you do the job. Um, and, the, and the knock-on effect of that is when I bump into students, which I do all the time, and I may have taught them 15 years ago, two years ago, five, and they tell me what they're doing. And they reminisce about, oh, sir, do you remember when this happened? You know, mm. um, that's when you know it's worthwhile doing, when you know that they've gone on, they yeah. got they were successful at college, mm. they've got the job they wanted. So, yeah, I suppose it's that, really, seeing people do really well. And it doesn't just have to be academically, you know, just seeing people grow into really good young people, um, whether they're achieving in sports, etc. Yeah. So I think that's it. Seeing the full cycle of everyone go through is, is what really makes it worthwhile. Yeah, that sounds really great. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Goodwin, for your time. We yes. enjoyed it. We especially enjoyed the humour, and I'm yes. sure everyone at home does as well. Good, good. And I guess good that good. leaves one thing to say. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend.